we do have the second part of the Rarin coaching session. If you didn't watch the first part, it will be linked in the description slash the top comment. Uh, this is me trying to teach Rarin the Ironclad. Uh, if you want to see more content with Rarin, please go nuts in the fucking comments. A thousand fucking comments. I mean, I'm going to do more content with it, but please sound off. It only makes us want to be more motivated to do things like this. Uh, we've got so many ideas of what we want to do. I realize now that from this angle, I... I look like if Vegeta shaved his head. Like if he like went to a crew cut. I'll see you tomorrow. Previously on Slay the Spire. I love this card, but I wouldn't take it now until later. Heavy Blade is one of the worst cards for Ironclad. We're, we're legitimately worried for your uh, snack lie addiction. Are you okay? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what is that? You're hey, dying. Is this the I, I oh, accidentally asked somebody for a threesome one time. Holy shit. Yeah. What? The Ironclad player has logged on. What? The Ironclad player has logged on. <laughs> hey, you can take it now. Because the hands? Ugh. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, is that bad here? Bing bong? Oh, Mark oh, of Pain. pain. Uh, so the there's good and bad things about Mark of Pain. Right? The bad thing is really yeah. fucking bad. But the one good side is you'll never get them on turn one. If you look at how the, the thing reads, it, it only puts them into your, your deck on turn one. It'll it'll shuffle them into your draw pile after your first draw step, but it is still like overall pretty dog shit. Um, okay. Bing Bong is okay here. It's not terrible. Runic Cube is an OP relic. That shit is fucking busted. That might be the strongest relic in the entire game, but not every character can use it. All right, I'll try it. I, I've never taken it either, to be and honest. Combined with, it. with the relic next to it, it's broke. Oh, oh, because they. I just get you. I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 90, yeah, 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 yeah. Ninety-three monies. Uh, with membership We're cards, really it's like one hundred eighty, so you can afford a relic. We're very strong. Do we need to go for the green guy? Did you go the right way for the green guy? Who's the green guy? Burning Elite. Yeah, you did oh, the right way. I mean, you... Hey, welcome back. Dude, what is with my internet? The fuck is going on here? You hear me? Hello? I can hear you. I can see that I'm not up. Okay, I'm back to uploading. Something just has to be going on with my internet. We're right back. Okay, sorry, what were we saying? Uh, I, you didn't go the right way for the heart. So I don't it's, know if you want to like, real quick save and quit and just like go to the right. <clears throat> Hopefully this allows no, you to do anything. I don't know if I, this does. I just I just DC'd. Ah! It's over. It's okay. We can no, actually, it's okay. We can actually do something. Um if you want to go to the What? Yeah. I can I can we can go to the we can go to the side. Don't worry, I got it. Just no, we'll just we finish this fight and then we'll just we'll glitch. Um yeah, we just get wing boots from the shop. Oh sure. Uh I mean, do I just play both? Because, like, this feels bad. I want to get the intangible twice, I guess, right? Um, this, is weird. this is weird. I think you just play Shockwave in one apparition or, like, one, one of a, uh, something else. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think I would have played both apparitions there for sure. I, I think there's, like, the value in me. Like, I can't I can't look at it. Okay, so we're just doing, like, what? This, this? Uh, Technically, the other order is better. All right, my apologies. You're so right. Because you could have played Feel No Pain and then it could have made Dark Embrace cost zero. So minus one energy. Bozo. All right, that second part was me. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking dare you. This is fine. Um, so I... I what? I actually think that leaving Carnage in your hand at that point was actually better because then it exhausts and it draws you a card. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, Corruption's OP. You just win. Hey, look, demon form. You could upgrade it. You can upgrade it. You can up. It's fine. Well, don't worry. It's gonna be man. Oh, Minus actually, one I strength return. I should have drawn first, maybe. Because I'm taking thirty-one. Wait, no, no, no. I just use this. No, no it doesn't do anything. It's fine. Oh. Have you seen that video? Seen the um, so sorry. Where the guy is barbecuing meat and he, it's a, it's a black rub, and then he tells people to grow up. Sounded like you just grew up for a second. That was very specific. No, it's not burnt. Black rub. Remember from the beginning, grow up. What's your thoughts on True Grit here? Oh, True Grit's amazing. 
Amazing. Yes. One of the best cards in the game. You're this is something. I'm gonna have to rewatch this, by the way, and just verify like how we're playing this, because yeah. uh this is very intriguing. I think it's it, it, it has to be mandatory to play this card, right? Yeah. Oh man. How oh, my uh oh my internet's good. I'm not sure what that is. This offering, let me see where you go. This into cleave. Pommel strike. That into pommel, pommel strike. Sorry, that is kind of kind of join in like we're one and the other. This, this dies to that, so. Yeah, wow, look at you. You're so good. What'd you say like that? Because you did it all by yourself. Good job, champ. <laughs> I play defend. You're killing that guy every turn or every every time next turn. Yeah, he's out. He's up for sure, for sure. FR, FR. Wait, so the, there's a <laughs> there's a glitch in this game, is what you're saying? Uh, you're cheating you're not in my playing spire? with mods on, are you? No. Damn, never mind. Uh, what are these cards? This crazy good for the hard. I, I actually have no fucking it's idea. Disarm, this arm's really good. This arm's like okay. one of the best cards in the game. It also has one of the best beta arts. Oh, imagine we got it. I don't even. Do I have beta arts in this? No, because you have to beat the hard. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, sure. This you can take another one if you really want to. But Sling of Courage necessary. is not good because it's only lead fights. It doesn't do it for boss fights. I think the Centennial Puzzles like really good though. Yeah, I'm kind of for it. Especially if you like have apparitions, you only take one damage. You draw three extra cards. It's super good. You can also do it on the heart. You can just like purposely take beat of death damage. Take what damage? The beat of death. What the hell's that? So that is the heart move. is whenever you play a card, you take two damage. It's oh, the, the beat of death. You're so right. How did I forget about that? It's time for the heart. Chat, we are going to get it. Trust me. Winged Boots is, is coming up. What the fuck? We're probably not getting the heart here. It's coming. What do I, what do I do? What the fuck do I do? I guess I, 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 I do not like it. This seems fine. Is your brain just uh, going to push right now? Decision overload. There's so, there's so many. There's, I'm lost, bro. There's so many decisions here. What the fuck? Uh, this is fine. Sure. Um, I wanted to play this, but whatever. I think I'm just going to play this. Heart beats you off to death? Oh, let's fucking go. Do I even? Probably yeah. fine. Oh, Gino ginormous. Do you feel like it with the uh, Slay the Spire? Yep. It's it's hard to like truly react to it because there's no like PvP action. Like maybe in card games in general, like I feel like in League, it's much easier to like interact with people around you or like interact with the game. Like I feel like in Slay the Spire, it's like, oh, I misplayed. Huh? Or like, I guess card games in general. I think Does chat reacts to for you. So then you're reacting to the chat. Like when a guy tells you that you suck I get at a it, game yeah. and then you get really pissed at him. <laughs> hey, Frost, I'm that guy that said I was A7. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is happening. Um, well, that's unfortunate. I guess I just don't want to take any damage. Uh, Fiend this is better. Yeah, yeah, Fiendfire just lets you take no damage. Dark Embrace. Oh, fuck me. You're so right. Sorry. You're so right. You're so right. Ross is one of the hardest pop off people I've seen on YouTube for a long time. You do have a good energy, which Thanks. is why I think you were like really good for League. I feel like you need that energy in League. I feel like my uh, League it's, content it's, sucked. Really? Well, like, have you ever gone back and like, watch it? Yeah. So like it was good for like getting viewers, but it wasn't good for getting like an audience. Like I didn't have any personality in it, so nobody cared about me. Interesting. That makes sense. I do understand what you're saying. It's just very interesting to hear. Because I feel like your personality. I mean, okay, I guess like it's been a while since I've watched them, but weren't they were like they weren't champion spotlights? They were like how something, how OP something used to be. I feel like yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like my, yeah, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So like, I guess in that sense, it's fair. God, he's he's becoming a gamer. So normally I would click that for 59 gold, but because you have membership card, I wouldn't. And we have one chance at the thing. I have to fight this to try to get the wing boots, right? Yep. <laughs> that's that's what the plan is right now. Mm -hmm. uh, play shockwave first and then play offering. 
I'm about it. You you would never go back to play and do Lee content though, right? Play feel no pain first. Yeah. And then Dragon Race, yep. Uh so like my goal as a content creator is like do you have like a like like a like a dream like a dream scenario as a content creator, right? Um, yeah. mine is like, I want to be, I would like to be able to do what Moon Moon does, where you, he just does whatever oh, yeah. he wants all the time, and he just has enough support to live comfortably for the rest of his life. Like, that's, that's yeah. the dream, I got right? You. And so I think that if, like, if I ever could get to, like, 1k average concurrence, no matter what I'm doing, like, just from this recent shit that I've been doing with, like, you and Ots and shit, I've been hitting 1k almost every day. And I, I'm like on cloud nine right now. Yo, let's fucking go, bro. I'm, I'm like, I saw you copying my, my title, by the way, stream title. I did. I, I literally said at the start of the stream, I'm copying it from you. The I it was 1K genius. viewers equals I, guaranteed wins. Yeah. yeah and I then thought you had it was 1K viewers. And I also won. Holy <laughs> works. So I think I just chill here. Um, but yeah, like I'm feeling really good right now, but like I'm not getting 1K no matter what I'm doing. I'm getting 1K doing the pogs. Which is fine, but like the goal is 1k popping off. Um, also, you're getting fucking cooked here. Get owned. At least you blocked. Next thing you have second win. This could be really good for you. I think you'll be fine. You have demon form. Um, yeah, do demon form. Let's go. Sorry. Yeah, you just have to figure out how to kill them now. Uh. What was I saying? I don't know. My brain's cooked. Something about you want to stream whatever you want. Oh, yeah. If I have like 1K doing whatever I want, I would say that I would absolutely do like a League of Legends climbing challenge. Because I think that like it's all vibes. Like it's all if your chat is is like active enough, like you can do whatever you like. Like if at 1K viewers, I think you can snowball into having uh, like a good community around the League content that you make, you know? I'd hold the, the thing. I'd hold that, actually. You're going to draw a lot of cards next turn? No, no, no. I wouldn't use that either. You're going to draw a lot of cards next turn because of the uh, cube. So you're going to, like, draw your hand and... You... Okay, yeah. I would that save that in sense. case you get big attacked again. And you're going to get a, a little bit of block this turn, too. Like, you're fine. Um, So now you just need to... Uh, Probably the best play here is actually... So the best play here is Cleave Strike. Trust me. Yeah, leave okay. strike then right, I was, I, pommel strike and energy potion and you kill oh then you draw the two cards again oh and then, no. look at this guy yeah. i think pommel strike is better know. yeah i don't need that much draw yeah i get what you mean um see that's one of the reasons why i wanted to focus on being a like a evergreen youtuber you know who's my biggest inspiration you ever watched small Ant before I love small ant. Yeah, so small ant's like legitimately my biggest inspiration when it comes to a content creator because I think what the way he's done his content titling and like just ideas is really great, but it also gives him so much breathing room because he makes so much passive income just from his YouTube videos that he could stream whatever the fuck he wants. Yep. So like in my mind, I would rather like you're you're going for the Twitch angle. I'm going for the fact that like if I'm a YouTuber and I get enough viewership every single day where i literally do not have to consider it like i could just play whatever i want like that would be the dream there um and i think there's also the case of like like league of legends is a good example right now league of legends is kind of popping still like it's still a really really big game um slay the spire like it has like a it's like community for sure but it's not nearly as big as like a game like league like moon moon is a really good example as well like when he plays grand theft auto like he's popping when he Dude, plays like, a more okay. niche game i'm a hater he needs to stop fucking playing grand theft auto that shit's so yeah. goddamn boring Sorry. I, I, I'm just I a always feel enjoyer, like, but I, that's no, what I, I love about him is the fact that he just does whatever he wants. Like he does not care about me <laughs> not wanting him to play that specific. What the hell thing. do I do here, by the way? I, I have to recall you, right? If you want to go to the heart, eventually, but I mean, well, we're gonna try it, I guess. I don't yeah, think sure, I really sure. need to upgrade that much. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I think the GTA stuff, unfortunately, is dude. Wing boots is a rare relic. Sorry. I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm for it. We get it. We get it. Um, yeah, GTA is like. It's almost like a TV show. Like yeah. if you're not in, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not in it. Like it's hard to really like appreciate it. Yeah, that's how I feel oh, about I live like... TV too. If I'm not in the TV show, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it.
Is this uh, not like a goaded play, by the way? Yeah, disarm's really good. I don't think you need to do anything else. You're not going to take that much damage because your, your HP is really low. Yeah, you're not going to take any. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like a thousand percent with you. I'm, I'm, I'm a million percent with you. So like the way that I see like growing as a content creator in the Twitch market is like you become the most popular in your niche game and then you like start branching out and you do things with other creators. Like I think Squeaks did it really well where he yeah. was really big in Mario, but now he just like plays with a bunch of other people. Well, he had um, he had Ludwig, right? Ludwig. I think like like he 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 did a lot of shit. He's like really good friends with Ludwig. So like I think that like it's also a part of just like collabing with like the right people really helps you like expand. Dude, I'm so like, close you're... to the Ludwig universe. I'm gonna get there. Trust me. Who's <laughs> the Ludwig universe? I'm really close. <laughs> no, I know I know a lot of people in the in the in like no, the. Just... The way you said that is so funny. <laughs> Ludwig universe. The Ludwig universe. Uh, no, but you, you know what I mean, right? Like if you if you put yourself in a situation where you're with a lot of people, yes. um, who are like very big, like Ludwig's a really good example of that. Like it helps. Uh, do I? What do you think? I'm thinking about bashing. Just to no, set up for a better turn. I think bash is shit. I think you could play something better with more for that two mana, like what you that you draw from playing the fiendfire. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think you're gonna guaranteed find something just, cooler. <laughs> something cool here. <gasps> yeah. Like two offerings. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. I'm going insane. Welcome to the Iron Wait, my brain. My brain hurts now. Hold on. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Okay. I'm holding. I'm holding. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Is it... Do I like? Do I just get like? Do, do I care about this? Like, I can just do this. This. I mean, oh, why am I thinking so hard? Like, we can't lose this. Yep. I'm like kind of like thinking for like literally no reason. I'm kind of just for this too. While I have the. Uh... Fuck okay. It's probably good enough. Not sure. Wait, who who are you close with, uh, Ludwig? Um. I went to a uh, wrestling thing recently, a sumo wrestling thing out in Cali with like a bunch of the creators out there. Okay. Um, met like Nandre, Barry Bebop, uh, Point Crow for the first time. Oh, Point Crow. Um, okay, yeah. cool, cool. And then uh, um, I am on speaking terms with like stands and a couple other people. Slime was actually supposed to go to the sumo thing, but he backed out because he thought there was a melee tournament and then he got really pissed off. <laughs> reasonable, reasonable. Yeah. I mean, dude, it was sumo. It was the the North American sumo that's championships? That's was sick. how sick was that? It was so fucking cool. Oh my oh, god! Oh. I really want to go in. Um, so there's another sumo event in I think it's June third or twentieth, but it's the week after I get a vasectomy, so I don't really want to go to that. It's like, gonna... Oh shit! You're getting a vasectomy? Yeah. Damn, bro. What's if you you don't have the dog, but if you don't want it, but I'm just curious, what's the what's the logic behind it? Sex is nice. <laughs> dude so true yo for real man uh I, I real talk though is like uh i think it's unfair that women are the ones that are like supposed to take birth control and so it's like the one version of male birth control that's like consistent and like actually had testing done on it because like for some reason the medical industry is like so focused on men but then just when it comes to birth control they're like ah we'll leave it to them so. So, oh so you're you're doing it as like um to, to stop your fiance from being on like birth control yeah, that's that's the that's yeah, that's yeah. like really really like nice of you. That's yeah. that's insane. Cause like I I do see like my uh my, my girl like she definitely has like moments my where like girl. it fucks her up. <laughs> my I she's not my fiance. I was just gonna say my girl girlfriend. How long have you guys here. been together? <laughs> eight years. So Almost fiance years. soon. Oh god, do I have to tell you my story? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me feed this fucking head first. I'll talk about it. You want to um, beat, you wanna beat this head off? Yeah. You got to beat this shit so you get post nut clarity. <laughs> Yo, uh, you're so right. Um, why do I? I feel like I've told this story like so much recently because people keep asking. They're always like, yeah, oh, how long have like you been doing? Almost asking somebody for a threesome. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> it's just like it, when hey. somebody brings it up, it's like I can't not tell it. Right? Like. Hey, accidentally ask somebody for a threesome, but oh. I'm not gonna oh. tell you the context behind that because well, you that you makes have me to see like a same, Yeah, like I have to. Otherwise, I just seem like a little freak. Oh, you see that? Sorry. 
Cruise hammer. Okay, basically, here's what happened. Okay. Um, when I first met my my girlfriend's a huge Disney person. She fucking hey, loves Disney. Wait, it's so like is mine. Shit. Holy shit! Wait, have you guys seen you there? I, I, maybe to be honest, okay. what the fuck was this meant to be? Anyways, um, I've never been to Disney World. Like my parents told me when I was younger that I would go, I, that we went, wait, wait, but wait, I don't wait. believe. Serious them. question? Is yep. she Disney World over Disneyland? I she's never been to Disneyland. Okay, that, that, wait, this is like this is huge. This is huge for our relationship. Wait, wait why? Wait, wait, my fiance, wait, 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 wait. my fiance is like from Orlando, so like she went to Disney World like every single weekend, or like so she's multiple not a, times a week. She doesn't like land. I'm assuming. Based yeah, on it's what like you just a said. massive feud. We've been to Disneyland. I I, I guilt tripped our way into Disneyland. Do you want to wait? Massive. I'll tell that story after. I'll, I don't want to interrupt you. Which one would you play first here? Uh, the lower cost one because it can make the greater cost one cause zero potential. Easy. <sighs> Good fuck. I'm lucky. You have another offering though. You can have it. It's fine. In pommel strike, I cost zero, so you'll draw it. You're so right. Oh, or look, it I? upgrades. It upgrades into one cost. Oh. That's a, I, dude, I never played for that. That's actually crazy. It's a really good tech. I, like, if you get Sneko uh, on the Ironclad, there are so many cards in this game that, like, upgrade, or on the Ironclad that upgrade into lower energy costs. It's so good to take them. Because then Armaments just becomes, like, an insanely goaded card. Okay, so is is Disneyland not good? So, is Disney, that what you're so Disney World has like a billion different parks, right? Yeah. And Disneyland yeah, yeah. is like just Magic Kingdom, and yeah. it's like com like shrunk down and like tightened up, and then it's like also California Adventures next next to it, and like California Adventures is really fun if you like roller coasters. I can't do roller coasters because my tum tum. Um, my tum. <laughs> yeah, I got a yeah. really sensitive tummy. I like roller coasters. I just can't do them. Fair, fair enough. Um, Vasectomy has a high depression rate? Bro, I already got it. So, like, come up with another excuse. <laughs> yeah, sorry, what were we saying? Please tell me my, DC, my internet did DC. Are we back? No, did no. we leave? No, oh, we're back. No, okay. I'm right here. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you died. Sentinel's amazing. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. That's really good. Oh, look at that synergy. 07 to the heart. Um. Though. Oh, seven to the heart. Oh god, I think carnage, carnage at this yeah. point. Carnage is really good early game. So wait, what were you saying about she? She's a big Disney kid. Okay, so when I first met her, she she talked to me how much she loves Disney. I'd never been before, anyways. So last year, I went there for the very first time because I finally made like enough money to like pay for the trip. Also, COVID happened, of course, so I couldn't go through there. Right. Um, I didn't realize. Like I knew it was expensive, but I didn't realize how expensive Holy it was. Shit. And like, yeah, post COVID too, you're you're cooked. Yeah, it was it was so it was so much money. Okay, it was so much money. Anyways, regardless, to have fun. I was I was over it because I was like, I've never been. This is my time. Whatever, I'm gonna fucking do this shit. Like, this better be the greatest trip of my life. Full transparency for Disney, probably like twenty grand. Like a sh fucking shit ton of money went into Disney, but it's fine. Like again, like I we I've been on a trip in like time. Like we I saved up for this trip, like specifically for this moment. Also because I had the intention of asking her to marry me when we went there. Not maybe at Disney World, but okay. like somewhere around there, just for like the the context because yeah, she, it's such a yeah it's such a big deal to her. I also didn't buy the ring because I genuinely thought like I have a history of getting pulled to the side at like uh, TSA and all that shit. Like they. My dad travels a lot for his job, so they always pull me over because I have his last name. What um, do you do? You say your last name out loud? No, but they. Okay. My passport always gets like. For example, by the way, like one. I went to uh, Blizzard invited me to California uh, two years ago. Sure. And I got to the desk where you get into the plane, and they told me I had to go all the way back to like security to get my bag checked because they forgot or something. <laughs> like that's the type of shit that happens to me. So I was genuinely nervous of like buying the ring because I was like, oh, they're going to see it and she's going to see it. And then it's like, it's fucking over. So I was like, I did my research. Like you could buy shit there. Anyways, we got through the first couple of days, whatever. It's fun, whatever. But I was way more excited for Universal Studios. I'm a big Universal guy. I think the IPs are way better. I think like just generally speaking, I like I like them a lot more. It's, it's more adult focused. So yeah, if you're not a Disney kid, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, exactly. So I was really excited. It probably wasn't 20 grand, by the way. I, it was probably less than that. I can't, I can't remember the price. Like I'm just, I'm just like ballparking it, probably over exaggerating it. Regardless, a lot of money. Uh, we get to Universal Studios. Trip plus ring, that sounds like 20K. Okay, yeah, you're right. I didn't buy the ring yet, for the record, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you uh, we, we went to the Universal, we went to Universal probably like the third day in. So 
we it's a lot of walking first and foremost which like i was prepared for kind of but like it's still a fuck ton right like it's like thirty-five thousand steps a day at least um but i didn't realize how expensive universal studios was going to be first and foremost i didn't realize it's split into diff two different parks yep like you disney world is like multiple parks but you have to travel for them and they're fucking ginormous yeah so like it legitimately feels like it i can understand at least the logic behind the like making them separate making you pay for them because like they are they're they're their own thing universal is like a fucking five minute walk to get to the other side yeah. like both yeah. of them together are the same fucking size as like a park at disney so i was like what the fuck's going on here like, i was i was genuinely like confused anyways uh we get to universal brother it was so much money for universal like for both parks for both of us um it was like 800 canadian bucks like i was like what the fuck like that's insane but whatever again i was way excited for this gonna be awesome gonna be awesome we get in go to the we got the right at open so like it was no there was no one there we go to the the transformers ride we get to the front of the ride <laughs> okay. and the guy is like wait what's that again no, no i was just laughing the the transformers ride was the first one but that's well it was just it was just there like we were like fuck it let's just go like let's just because i had no idea what was there right? i'm going in fucking blind um oh, it's so I was like, okay based. let's go we get to the front of the ride really excited to ride it because it looked fucking sick and as we're about to get on, the guy says to us, sorry, the ride shut down. I'm super sorry. You can wait here if you want, but we can't guarantee this ride's going to be like available soon. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Like what? Uh, so we left and I was like, I said to her, I'm like, okay, there's a lot more people when we got out. Cause I was like 20 minutes or whatever. I was like, okay, you know what? Just to make sure that we have as much fun as possible. I'm going to buy the fast passes. Sure. Okay? After. Buddy. No, holy I know. Fuck, that was so, I know. So expensive. So I know. Expensive. So at this, at this point, I'm like, holy fuck. Like I got to make sure this, this, this day is like worth it for me uh we do the the one park like the simpsons area was cool like i liked harry potter's so, like it's it's cool to just go there uh we did all the thing and then you could take like the hogwarts express from one side of the park to the other side of the park i'm not sure if you've been there before i'm sure i'm assuming you have i have but I'm not you. been to universal in florida i've been to universal in in california okay so you could take hogwarts express to one side of the park to the other side of the park even though it's like a five minute walk just for the experience have you seen the harry potter movies just for yes, the, like reference yes, 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 yes. So, like you know the one scene where like the dementor on the the train in the third movie comes to see like the, the, right. the Harry okay. Potter and friends. Sure. Like it's like that experience, which was pretty fucking sick. I'm not Sweet. gonna lie. That was that was hype as shit. Anyways, get to the other side. We go to the Hogwarts ride, go in the fast pass, bro. And this guy, we get to the front of the line. I'm super excited because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be super sick. Brother, this guy scans my ticket. It's like a red beep. And he goes, Sorry, you don't have the fast passes. I'm like, bro, I just dropped like 600 Canadian bucks for this shit. What do you mean I don't have the fast pass? And he says, You only bought it for the one side of the park, dude. That literally broke me. Holy like, shit. Shit. i was like are you oh like, my god there's there's a lot of layers to that because it's like a like how do you not assume that it would be because they're not that far apart but also like wouldn't the guy at the start who sold it to you say something yeah be like, like hey are like, you wanting to buy it for just one half or are you trying to buy it for both so exactly so like I, I was like when he said it to me i was like what the fuck like are you serious and he's like i didn't say it like that but like in my mind <laughs> I, I was a lot more like composed you punched anyways, the guy in the like, face that's really overreactive <laughs> i was funny i was visible like i am someone who is doesn't get angry very often but i was like visibly upset like my girlfriend could see it like i was i was very angry yeah Dude, that killed the trip for me like that right there was like i can't believe i spent that much money for only half the park and like you guys didn't have the courtesy to say something to me so like we still went we still did the shit at universal studios but after that moment i was like bro this is way too much money so like it killed my vibe and it sucks because I told her mom beforehand I was going to do it. Like, right. I was, like, really ready to do it. So, like, it just hasn't happened yet. And then also, like, so uh, she's been very busy because she's like, she's a personal trainer. So her hours are completely fucked. Um, so hopefully soon. Like, she also didn't. The one thing she didn't have was her ring size wasn't, like, figured out. So I'd rather, like, get the ring size and then buy her a ring so we don't have to get a resize. Yep. She has told me. So now I have that. But... Yeah, it's been like a lot of time. Like we, we're basically married at this point. I'm assuming it's almost the same relationship you have. Like exactly it's common law. Same, like yeah. we've been together so time. So the only difference at this point is like just doing the fucking wedding or whatever, getting married. Do you do you but, want a big wedding? Cause I don't. No. Yeah. No. Unironically, like I hate being the center of attention, which is weird why I do this job. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't anyway. feel the same when they're just text on screen. It li I promise you, it doesn't though. Like it really doesn't. Like I we um I was lucky enough for Blizzard to invite me to go to blizzcon okay and they had they had like a meet and greet there Ooh. and i wasn't sure if i was going to do it or not but then like I, they asked me to do it they're like oh you're like a lot of people would want to meet you and stuff and i was like dude i've never been more nervous for like something to do because i was mm -hmm. like oh fuck like people are gonna come to see me like what the fuck yeah but oh yeah that's how i feel about it Major um, imposter syndrome it's weird it's really weird that's also one of the reasons why i wanted to be like a coder is because 
I could just put headphones on and do my thing. Like I wouldn't have to worry about it. But this yeah. job is awesome. Um, also, should we play Slay the Spire? <laughs> <laughs> Realize, uh, I'm gonna start with this. Sorry, what you were saying, what's the, what's the difference between, uh, without no. saying when I'm going or why I'm going, um, <laughs> I will be going to Disneyland relatively soon in California. Oh, the, the difference is that just Disneyland is much, much smaller. And there's only the one okay. park. It's it's just uh, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, which is fine, which is fine. Yeah. It's basically like I'm they don't have enough land. Like they just, there's, it, it's like yeah, in the yeah. middle. It's oh, like real estate for sure. literally Disney, Disneyland is like in the middle of downtown Anaheim. Like it is, you'll literally be like, where's Disneyland? And then all of a sudden it's there. Like it's versus Orlando. Like you can see it for 40 minutes away. Do you have to pay for both parks? For Disneyland and California Adventures? Yeah. I'd assume so. Fucking bastards. Oh. No, so when I went, uh, it was like, um, we were going, I don't, what, what the fuck were we going out to Cali for? We were doing like some weekend trip. It was like a, a little bit ago. Um, but we were we were out in Cali for just like a few days. And the the day we pull up, we uh, the friends that we were supposed to hang out with like just like bailed on us. So we were like, okay, why don't we just like go to Disney? And it was a Sunday or like, no, it must have been a Friday. I don't know. But either way, uh, they didn't have any tickets available for that day online. They only had tickets available for the next day. Okay. And she was like, oh, it, we, we were already on the Uber over there. And we were already like halfway through the Uber. And it was like a 45 minute drive because it's LA. And she was like, it's cooked. Like, you know, it's cooked. like there's just no fucking point in going. She was like starting to get all sad. And like, I put on, like, I put on the boyfriend confidence and I was like, I got this shit. <laughs> we okay. pull up and like the the like the in between Disneyland and Disney World or uh, Disneyland and California Adventures, there's like a giant cobblestone walkway or like brick walkway. It's like massive. It's probably like the size of like three football fields. It, it's it's like insanely large of just like people traveling between the two parks. And in the middle yeah. of those are the ticket centers. If you want to get your physical ticket there, so I bought the tickets for the next day in the car. Didn't tell her that I did this, by the way. She was like, okay, he's gonna figure it out. We go up to the ticket counter and I purposely, there's like six windows open and I purposely am looking at them. I'm trying to find the oldest woman. I find her, <laughs> lock eyes with her, walk up to her and I put on the puppy dog eyes. And I go, can you just call me an idiot right now? She goes, oh, what do you mean? And I go, we're only no here way. until tomorrow. <laughs> and I thought I bought tickets for today, but I bought them for tomorrow and she goes, Oh my God, I can handle that for you. Runs in the back, gets us tickets for that day. Your hero, holy fuck. I'm so goaded. I've, I've got it down. That's actually amazing. It was so sick. Wait, so you got in then? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Look, I'm, I'm kind of gaming here, hold on. Yeah, the game kind of plays itself at this point. Does it? Yeah, there's like not really a wrong play that you can do. I make sure I don't die. Woo! Jesus Christ. You can take that heavy Wait, blade. Wait, wild. <laughs> uh, you could! Need. What? That was actually a good oh. heavy. It was heavy blade plus! Wait, is it actually, was it actually worth it? Were you trolling? Good. You have demon form and a spot weakness. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. My bad, my bad. Uh, what if I just go like duplicate Emily? You're gonna take a lot of damage from those spikers. <sighs> You're so right. You're so right. Frost um, is a good person to scam the elderly. Okay, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> I did it because she was compassionate, not because I could dupe her. Because the elder, uh, the elder women tend to be compassionate, which just so happens to be also how a lot of scams happen. Is they're like. Oh my God, I accidentally gave you $40,000 when I was only supposed to refund you 400. Wait, I'm gonna lose my job. Like, don't get me wrong, that's how they do it. Like, that's not what I was going for. That's so... <laughs> <laughs> you can just see right Holy there. Holy shit. No, I was, I was thinking about doing it, but like, what am I doing? I'm just gonna kill that. I'm probably just kill it next turn, right? Yeah. I don't know if that was correct. Circled her like Jaws. I did eye her from across the 
place and circle her like jaws is absolutely hysterical okay what am i doing uh power through fiend fire is probably your best play and hit the the repulsor oh you don't holy fuck i just realized if you hover over the names they're there or the characters they're there. <laughs> man that a7 guy's rolling in his fucking grave bro holy <laughs> shit yeah so you don't even need to kill the exploder now with the um the apparition because you only take one so it's nothing you're so right yeah you have your whole combo so you can just play all these cards and just like find better stuff like, you want to try to attack him when you have the apparitions in play because like you don't have to worry about the damage from it kill him oh kind of sort of oh, i can't draw anymore should have just played it Oh my god. Is this how you thought this day was gonna go? Exactly how I thought it was gonna go. I actually uh, oh. hard coded the seed into your run. No, no, like this conversation. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take this. No, dude, no conversation is off the table. You could ask me literally any question right now, barring doxing me, and I'll, I'll answer it. Barring doxing me. Yeah. Ask me anything. Who's the who's your favorite person you've interacted with? Content creator? Yeah, kind of agree. Well, not like I wouldn't real life would be tough because you could be like Chad. I'd be like, the fuck, Chad. And then yeah, this is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, you're, you're um, I mean, Point Crow was a big one for like, I've just been a fan of him for a while, but like, it was very casual. So, like, it really wasn't like, I wasn't, I don't know. Like, it, it was like a bunch of people there. So, I didn't really get to like have like a one on one conversation with him or anything. Um, sure. I, I will say, so, do you know Dan Giesling? Yeah. Do you know, like, all of his past? Uh, I'm not too sure of his past. I know he's, like, I feel like I know he's a teacher. So he was a teacher, but he was also a reality TV star. Still is. He actually just oh, did The Traders. The he just did, yeah, he just did the new season of The Traders, which The Traders' entire bit is that they're bringing on old reality TV stars to, like, come back for a big slam. He was on Big Brother, and he was one of the most popular contestants. He won one season and then came back a second season and got second place. So he is he is known as one of the, if not the best Wait, players what? of Big Brother. Yeah, he's made a fuck ton of money off that. Like, he, he's like... Wait, what the fuck? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. That's like, he's like actual real celebrity. And so I was... Um, that's what I was in California yeah, for. Wait, no, I wasn't with August I then. Never mind. I hate to interrupt you one sec. Someone sure. just rang my doorbell. Give me one sec, right? I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's going to Everybody in Raren's chat, type F. Make it seem like he is his stream is dead again, so he comes back and he freaks out. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back. Wait, did it die? Did his stream go down I again? Know. Are we back? I see Fs. You stream that again? Got what him. the fuck, dude? Got him. I got, got him. I think I just got, oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I got a, I think I just got fucking door dash on me. Like someone rang my doorbell and they just dipped. Okay, it's not door dashing. That's the company. <laughs> what is it? Sorry, it's ding uh... dong ditching. Okay, whatever. Sorry, I was uh, I played League of Legends when I was a child. You just I don't got know fucking Doordash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get fucking where is my uh? Where is? Uh, what am I not? I'm not. You where have a second boss to fight over again, dude. I. <laughs> If you didn't say that, mm -hmm. I would have forgot entirely. Jump scare? Which I think is a big jump scare. Don't play that. I would have been like, I would have been like, oh, we won. Wait, why not play that? Because uh, you have Centennial Puzzle, so you should have played more cards so you could draw more cards. It's fine. It's not, it's not like a big deal. I was looking for any of my powers. You got Dark Embrace. Yeah, but the, like. What, is that not good enough okay. for you, huh? Little elitist over here. Uh, it's just not. It's not really what I'm looking for. Ask Rarin about the 50 gifted subs he got the other day. Oh my god, that was yesterday. That was even like like further down the line. He basically, basically what happened was. Yep. Um, there's a card in Hearthstone where I was doing dungeon runs yesterday. I don't know if you know what dungeon runs are. It is um, it the the PVE mode like the yes the rogue yeah, yeah. mode. Okay. I I love. Like I like those modes a lot. There's a there's a treasure in the in the game called I forget like uh pyro wand of pyroblast or something like that. Basically, what it does it casts pyroblast until one of the heroes dies. And I was trying to win 
five in a row and I was on like my fourth one and someone said I said they're like how much do you to play it I was like oh, for 50 gifted subs but someone gifted a sub to 50 subs rather than saying gift or 50 <laughs> subs and I like I was just in the moment um uh, because someone on YouTube donated 50 for me to do it too which is great that's like, I'm awesome. super super appreciative yeah. but I didn't realize it and I, I look back and I'm like it was gifted to 50 subs. I, dude, if the guy on YouTube, bless Ryan's heart, if he didn't fucking gift me 50 yet and I lost, I think I would have just exploded right there. Um, do you know the order of cards to play here? It's this first? No. This first? No. This first? Yes. <laughs> just going card by card. Isn't this just the better play? No, because if you reduce the number of cards in your hand, you have a greater chance of mummified hand hitting the cards you want. Fair enough. So now you play Field of Aha, uh -huh, get fucked. Wow. We are the worst I've ever seen in my life. You could have played it twice. Could have, could have duplicated it. But it's fine. Yeah, but You're fine. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm dead. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, I, did I just lose? Dude, I'm not in this anymore. Oh, no, my you're God. You're still alive. You're still alive, but like, you're the, dead. Have, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Shh. You have five life. It's fine. It's fine. Shh. <laughs> Stuff. I got tilted. I don't think you need that. Oh, you wrote, I wish someone didn't remind me of the 50 subs yesterday. It actually was like, I couldn't believe it. You ever, you ever had that happen to you? I thought it was insane. Um, no. But I have had people try to... No, wait, hold, uh, 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 you can armaments, That's, which will then upgrade your true grit, which then you can true grit the sentinel guaranteed. I was... You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to do this first to upgrade more cards. Yeah, but then now you're not going to draw. Yo, Layden, thank you for gifting us up to 50 subs. <laughs> oh, if only I hit the skill, I'm fucking dead. No, you're not. What's uh, what's that one card in your drop pile? What's that one card right there? Thunderclap, perfect card to have it. Do it. Havoc it, kill it. Are you, hello? Do it! Do you trust me or not? No. Okay, now play disarm. Hmm. I think we're dead. Are, are you? Yeah, we're dead. I don't think you were dead I, there. I needed to duplicate that for sure, right? No, I threw it. I threw it. Oh, shit! Holy shit, he's still alive. I knew that. I just didn't. I was no, you didn't. To, yep. Shut the fuck up. Fucking no, you I am the slave. I am the ironclad player. I've logged on, motherfucker. You think that I would let you make those plays if I knew that it was going to make you lose? <laughs> Unironically, yes. Just, okay. just to make sure I'm punished. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Are I still dead? Uh, no, I'm no. alive. Okay, you're like super to... alive. Like you're just going to one shot this guy now. Really? Yeah. You play this. Do I play this first to get the bash to zero? Or maybe? No. Sentinel. Demon Holy Ford. shit, Sentinel's such a good card. This streamer's so smart. Wait, do I play this? Yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, Wait, now happening? you just need to be wary of the amount of cards that you're just randomly playing, like your skills, because you don't want to just use up all of your block engine. But now you can just start smacking him. Your blood for blood is going to be your best card, like combined with like redrawing it with Pommel Strike. Because like you're just going to literally get your cards down to zero and just play an infinite amount of shit. You don't play any of these. You're not going to draw. Oh my god. I legitimately thought this run was over. No, you're fine. Or like we're here. You're still fine. Just play Fiendfire. Just play Fiendfire. Didn't really need to do that, but it's fine. You're alright. No, you're fine. We're fine, we're fine, right? Just go next. I thought that was I thought that was better just because uh the cycle gets better for blood for blood or whatever. Yeah, but you're gonna kill him no matter what, so. Am I done here? No. I like, the, I like your confidence. It actually really helps. <laughs> I just uh, this game okay. We do this. Do this. Yep. 
Yeah. Actually, but you shouldn't have done that. That's weird. It would do what? You should have kept the wound so you could use second wind on it since you're gonna like play your skills anyways. But yeah, now you just wanna play like cards individually. Don't play the second wind here. Just play your defense like slowly. Just like slow play it. Trust. And then play another defend. Now play second wind. Wait, really? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and now, now we're going infinite. Kind of. Yeah. It's got an achievement. Oh, for having like nice. zero cards? Uh, less than three cards, yeah. Yeah, so now you just need uh, to bash. Bash first. Bash first, blood, and then pommel. Yeah. Man, this is lethal, right? Okay, nice. I wasn't even worried. Hey, give me, give me the card. Give me the card. Is he? Oh, for this God. deck, yeah. Oh, you're you're cooking him. Yeah, I'm looking for like demon. Right? Yeah, I just wouldn't play your offerings unless you have your apparitions in play. So I would just like corruption and dark shackles, and then maybe even like pass the turn. I don't know. Well, I'm definitely for this because then he doesn't do anything. You could pommel now that it's cost zero because if you find something you want, you can play a sentinel to get energy. I think you can play spot. That's fine. Yeah. I think hold around like four cards a turn right now until you get your engine running, and then. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna duplicate the. The demon name. You could duplicate a demon, you could duplicate an apparition, doesn't matter. I think you could duplicate apparition here and pass. Because next turn you're going to be vulnerable, so if you dead draw, you're going to really regret not having that apparition. You don't, don't need to play any of that. Just save. Play it slow at the beginning of this fight until you get everything running. Ha! Ha ha! Now you can play your offer. Holy! Do, uh. Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. Wait, what were you going to say? I was going to say do seeing red first, because again, you have Centennial Puzzle, so you're going to draw more cards than you could have. It's fine. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, sure, chilling. You're chilling. We're, we're big chilling right now. Yeah, so now just watch the amount of cards that you're playing, just because, like, that clock is ticking. Because, you, like, you don't yeah, want to yeah. draw Feel No Pain at the end of your turn and then, like, have it suck. So, like, Dark Embrace is fine. Shockwave's fine. Um, just don't be, like, playing super duper fast. Just wait to see what you get. Well, I definitely want to play 12 cards here, right? Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to proc them. It's just, like, if on playing this 11th card, maybe play your Immolate instead of an Apparition so that you don't draw into the True Grit or you don't draw into the, the Feel No Pain. Like play something that's not going to draw you a card here. So you don't want to draw that Feel No Pain. You're going to block next turn. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. You don't mind taking a damage even though I you got have you. I got you. Outcomes, so you're not. But... How much is a rod of roasting the Time Eater? Fuck off. What does that mean? That's, that's the card from... Like gifting 50. Ah. I think you can disarm. Disarm's like insane against this guy. There's your feel no pain. You've got everything you need. Do I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just hold it so at four. Nervous. Just hold it at four and just go next. Because you're going to need to probably block this turn. And then next turn, you're going to be super golden. Yeah, I think if you just play that Apparition, you can pass it so they have block right now. And then just like... Or you can actually play the Offering now because this is the last turn that you're going to have uh, Intangible. I agree. I agree. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'd go to 12 cards now. I'd go to like proccing him again. Just play everything out. They keep the Vulnerable on him. Yeah, you're pretty solid. Sure. You have Fiendfire down there, so like... You don't want to play that Pommel Last again because you don't want to draw into the card that you want. Yeah, yeah. So play like Immolator those. Cleave, yeah. Sweet. I'd play True Grit first. Because again, you don't want to draw Fiend Fire and then, you know, have to uh, hold the armaments. Oh. It's just to oh, upgrade the, the Fiend Fire because it's an important upgrade. I'd go, yeah, just like look for. You could probably pass, pass here, yeah. Fine. Maybe it's just strength. I don't know. 31 damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Am I? Yeah, just play Fiend Fire. This is uh, spooky as fuck. Why? I don't know. This guy always gives me the heebie jeebies. 
I'm like thinking about what I have to do. Like, I like um, just playing cards. So if you play all 12, can you play 12 cards here? Or five more cards? You can play scene One, red. two, three, four. We, we could, we could. Can we? One, okay, on. two, three, four. We could if we play this. Yeah, it kind of sucks though. I don't like that. What is the your deck looking like? Mm, the likelihood that you kill here is really low. So yeah, I would just honestly pass. Because he's just going to, the next turn he's going to go back to 240. Like, it's a regen of six, and, like, you don't have to play a bunch of bad shit. Slimes are your friends, kind of, a little bit. So, yeah, I would just let him do it, because he's going to remove the vulnerable anyways. No point in bashing or anything. Just end. Because it's just two free turns of strength gain. Yeah, right? he always does it after he's less than half, right? That's what it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I'd, I'd open with uh, Seeing Red, yeah. What am I playing towards, though? Uh, You're just, like, Omega Strength right now. So, right now, you're going to want to draw as many cards as possible, and then, like, second win to block this turn. Uh, I just play second one now. You're fine. Yeah, I play that first. Is that low? There's your uppercut. Sick. Solid. Yeah, he doesn't kill me. Okay, he should be done next turn. Mm -hmm. Should be. Climbs your friend. Fine. Just play power through. There you go. That's all the damage you'll probably need. Probably just play both the strike and the cleave, and the next turn you'll get him. You're chilling. 54 plus 51 is 105. You're fine. Yeah. Full blocking plus that, and then next turn you have Emily. And you... Chilling. Holy shit. Ascension 20. I can't dead. Buddy, we 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 got so off track. I completely forgot. This is how I play 99% of the time. Yeah, but you, you see, I'm at that point in Hearthstone where like I barely have to think. Yeah. Like, I just kind of do it like that. I'm not at that point in Slay the Spire, so I'm glad you you get this. Yo, chat, look, look at my cat. This thing, sorry. Um, nice, dude. I don't. I'm gonna have to rewatch this to see how we really did because I forgot a lot about it. <laughs> um, but the uh, the exhaust belt seems. I don't know if you're post. Are you posting this on YouTube? You're gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah, absolutely. That was great content. Okay. Okay. My, I will my stop. YouTube audience is not like they are very more game. Like there's so much more gameplay focused than my stream, but like they know me at the, at the end of the day. So like they're fine with you. either they enjoy that part or they're fine with like just pressing L over and over again.